Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, the last and final frame I already put together um, and I don't really feel like taking it apart. But um, I'll just show it to you guys. Does it fit even? <laughs> it's too big! Uh, yeah, so this is basically a Cinewoop frame. Uh, it's fairly light. I'll have to weigh these. I'll let you guys know. I'll, I'll, I'll put in the description the weight on all of these frames once they're put together. Um, keeping in mind, obviously, these, this one here and this, well, this one here definitely is not 100% infill. This one is 100% infill, so I'll weigh this one. Uh, it's quite a bit heavier. Um, this one here is 100% um, on the ducts, um, but not quite 100%. I think it's 75% uh, on, the, on the bottom. I figured it didn't need to be that strong since it's only a 3-inch. Um, flexes a little bit, but it's actually not that bad. And plus it has the ducts to, to keep it all together. So, yeah, I, I think overall I, I like this one the most. Um, I put a lot of time into this one to kind of make everything line up. I got these little camera mounts at the front. Um, so you can put a screw in the side there, and then you mount it in into these little holes here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, but then it just kind of goes in and is held in by these top screws. Um, ideally these screws would go all the way through. I don't have screws that go all the way through, so I'm gonna, I have already ordered some, so we can try that out. Um, I can extend these out if, if the ducts are in the, in the frame. You can push these out. So again, this is 19 millimeters between these two little pieces here. Yeah, and the bottom plate, like, <laughs> I pretty much made it 20 by 20. Um, and 16 by 16, so you can put pretty much, uh, you can yeah, put your board pretty much anywhere up front, behind. You want to put two boards in there, you can fit two boards in there. Uh, I made it pretty flexible, um, so you can ideally run uh, an HD camera in here and do some Cinewhoop uh, recording. And so, basically, yeah, so basically uh, the standoffs essentially are the ducts. And basically what I've done, so you can see there's a little bit of a gap there, a little bit of a gap there, gap there, gap there. So that's for these, obviously. You can put another set on the back if you wanted to mount something on the back, an LED bar or something. We could put whatever there. You can add accessories. That's quite nice. Um, and then basically using that same thing, I'm not sure if you can see it, um, but uh, the ducts basically fit together like a jigsaw. And then the bolt goes right through. Uh, and that's the same on both sides. And uh, holds pretty well. And so I use 2M, 2M screw holes for the motors. And 2M screw holes for all the mounting gear. And got some holes here on the back for VTX. You want to mount a VTX with some twist ties or what have you, or whatever you need to mount to the top, should be doable. Um, <clears throat> so I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna build this one. I might actually build it upside down so the air pushes outwards or downwards, it's nice and clean. I might give it a smoother, um, some slightly smoother characteristics for um, HD video. Um, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, comment down below what you guys think. Um, which of these frames do you think uh, I should build? I'm kind of leaning towards the whoop. Um, but let me know your thoughts. 